Man, I can't believe it. I am Mario. I can't believe it. You say it, Sean, or you say that to me, and I, it's it's pretty wild. It was a truly a dream come true, man. What an extraordinary gig. Uh, I grew up loving the Super Mario Brothers, getting an opportunity to, to help create that voice with uh, with uh, the directors and and you know Michael and Aaron and myself, kind of rolling up our sleeves and figuring out what this guy sounds like, what the movie version of this guy sounds like. It was a lot of fun. It was really challenging and, and, and incredibly rewarding. I, you know, I absolutely love getting to be Luigi. He's such a fun character. Uh, you know, his, his sort of nervous tendencies, his great big heart. It was a good character to play, and I just had so much fun doing it. And um, it just felt really, like, lucky and privileged to get the chance to do it. And, and ha you know made sure I just enjoyed every second of it, which say, hey, hey man, listen, this is a huge opportunity. You're lucky to get it. Uh, appreciate it. So I, I loved it. Still, still enjoying it. Enjoying it right now. <laughs> a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I had a lot of leeway to improvise and to colloquialize. And really that was, that's, that's sort of the beauty of this medium is, uh, you know, you're not, they're just rolling audio and you can just say, a million different versions of the same line and you know what the character's trying to say and so you can say what's written, you can say what's not written to attempt to, you know, get that meaning across and really you just throw a million things at the wall and you see what sticks and then when they cut together a little bit of the movie and show, show it back to you, they say, okay, this is the stuff that's really working, let's work in this area. So you're constantly refining and constantly, the voice is constantly evolving and uh, you know you get uh, immediate feedback from like your previous sessions to determine which tone is right and which sound is right or how much of the accent is right. And so it was, it was, a, it was a real challenge and, and man, I, I loved it. I hope, we, I hope we can do some more. I, you know, I didn't approach it differently. I, th I, I always kind of come at it like, all right, who's the character? What, what kind of voice do I want to do? It's, it's never going to sound too different from my own voice because, <laughs> uh, I just, I think I have a distinct sounding tone. But, uh, um, what, what was different was just the reach of these characters and the right. scale of this movie and the fact yeah. that everyone has a relationship with them, uh, for the last thirty some odd years that the game's been around, um. Which I think occurred to me a little bit after the fact, and I'm glad that it did because uh, I might have gotten nervous. Uh, although that would have been fine for the character. So uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, the whole the whole thing, beginning to end, was an interesting journey, and I I I really enjoyed it. I kind of wish I could be recording more Luigi right now. I really just kind of got into it and fell in love with the guy. Being a fan of the game certainly had an effect on the way that I saw the movie when it was cut together. And I think, uh, you know, just knowing the music, knowing the beats, mm -hmm. being able to pick out all the Easter eggs, knowing all of these characters, that's a big part of the joy of this film, uh, this film watching experience. Um, if you've never met the Mario Brothers before, you don't know them, you're still going to be introduced to a, a world you're really going to love and you'll totally understand it. And if you do know the characters, there's a ton of sen sentiment and nostalgia and all of that stuff. So that... Being a fan of the game really had an impact on how I saw the film, but in terms of approaching it, technically, you know, um, I knew a lot about the character. Uh, I was able to be part of that collaborative team to help bring the story to life, to determine who he is, where should we meet him, how should we meet him, what does he care about, you know, uh, all of the elements that you need to develop in a character when in, a, in a narrative format, a 90 minute movie, that you don't necessarily need to know to play a video game. Uh, I was part of those decisions and that was really exciting and maybe being a fan of the game helped in my input that I gave in the way that I, uh, the technique that I, you know, but not necessarily the technique to, to creating the voice.